for today's weigh-in, guys. So far back there. It's ready. It's ready. Five hundred and twenty point zero pounds. Okay. I'm back to five twenty. That's okay. That's okay. Hold on, let me fill this out. Back to 520. Bye -bye. Okay. I don't know why I'm 520, but it's all right. It's cool. It's cool. Oh, I don't know why. Never mind. I know why I'm 520. I just took a shower, so I still have that water on me. <clears throat> Hold on. Let me sit you guys down and get prepared. So I'll be right back. Okay. I'm back. So I'm drinking my my drink um so anyways so getting back to someone wanted to know when i got kicked out of the house i didn't really get kicked out of the house it was really just a it was just really like um i just wanted to try it like you know when you're little and you're always like i want to run away from home i want to run away from home when you get like in trouble or something and you're just like i'm done i don't care i want to run away from home so I wanted to try it. So in 2010, I tried it. And what happened was, I was like, I'm leaving. I'm done. Bye. And I just walked out the front door. And then my one of my friends, Alex, she came and got me. And I'm like, can I just stay with you? So she's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. You can stay with me. That's fine. Okay. Refix is done. I'm actually getting tired of this stuff, but whatever. I just have until Sunday night. I'm done after that. Um, so anyways, um, so I remember she came, picked me up. She was having her own issues with her family and whatever. And her dad got her apartment to get her away from her mom. Um, so I remember we were all in this apartment. It was a one bedroom apartment, had no furniture, had nothing. So I was sleeping on the floor on a sleeping bag. Um, they were partying every night. We were going out every night. We were taking the bus system every night. <clears throat> and then I remember just for we could eat, I was pawning off my stuff so we could eat. Like I pawned off that camera that I got for graduation that I bought on my own. And I only got like 20 bucks for it. And the person ripped me off because that was a nice camera. Then I pawned off my boom box that I got for Christmas one year that was like a six CD changer and played an iPod and I love that boom box. And to this day, I wish I had that boom box. I pawned that off. I get 250 for that, $250 for that. And that thing was worth like almost $800 um, or like 850 for it. I forgot how much my dad paid for it on Amazon. Um, and then I pawned my automatic frame that would change the pictures for you every if you turn it on it would just go through a slideshow of your pictures and i loved it oh my god i put, would put my sim card in the side and it would just go through all my pictures and it was so pretty to this day i wish i had that to show all my pictures and my work that i do please don't be coming back i feel like my headache is trying to come back i don't want that please 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 my blood pressure is good i don't need it um it could be because i drink too fast um So, like, yeah, that was kind of like, and then I got in a fight with my best friend at the time, got in a fight with her. She punched me in my eye. My eye in here turned red. Like, it was literally like she scratched my eyeball or something. I was, sw it was sw literally swelling. First time I've ever been punched in my eye. Started to swell. My, fr my other friend 
his best friend was like freaking out and was like, let me get you ice. Let me get you ice. So we had like no clothes. We had like no towels, no anything. So he had to use his t-shirt that he had, a clean t-shirt, put ice in it and put it on my eye the whole night. Then my mom, so then I called my mom. I told my mom what happened. She's like, you need to call the police, call the police, call the police, call the police. I'm like, I'm not that type of friend. Matthew, she put her hands on you. Call the police. And she's all the way in Texas taking care of her mother. So she's like freaking out, stressed out. Um, you need to go to the ER. You need to go to the ER. I'm like, no, I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. No, your eye could be, you could go blind. Your, your, your eyeball is scratched. So then she gets on the phone and whatever she's doing and she's talking to her dad. Her dad says, let me talk to Biggie because that was my nickname for everyone called me Biggie, like Biggie Smalls. So she, her dad's like, let me talk to Biggie. So she goes, he goes, what the hell did she do to you? And then I tell her. Because she had anger issues, really bad anger issues. And they were like, they hated the way that she treated me. Because she never, like, treated me like a true best friend. She treated me like I was her slave. Do this, get me that, go here, do that, da, 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 da. And I never had respect for myself. So I allowed people to do that. I always got in situations like that. And her dad said, call the cops. Press charges on her. Treat, you need to teach her a lesson. And I said, no, I'm good. He's like, no, you're too good to her. You need to show her she can't put her hands on you. And I'm like, all right. Maybe. And then he's like, all right, I, I, I'm coming over. I'm coming over. He lived in St. Pete, Orlando. It's like an hour from us. So I was like, I got to go somewhere. I got to do something because he's going to try to get me to press charges and I'm not pressing charges. I'm not dealing with the police. So I just went for a walk and just calmed down. And then I went and hanged out with her ex-boyfriend. So her ex-boyfriend picked me up because by this time she turned lesbian. And so her ex-boyfriend picked me up and he was like really pissed off. He's like, oh my God, you need to stop letting people put No, no, no. And he was like becoming a boxer. Like he was really angry, but he's like, I don't hit women. He was like, if it was a dude that punched you, I'd have knocked his ass. Like he was going so mad. He was so angry. He's like, I'd have knocked him out. I would have knocked him out. And so I was like, nah, 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 Eric, just calm down, calm down. He's like, nah, this ain't right. All the stuff that you do for her, this is not right. And then he's like, nah, we're, I'm going to the house. So we go to the house and then he confronts her about her cheating on him. And then Alex, her girlfriend is there and Alex is like, yo, you need to back off. You need to back off. You need to back off. And then they're about to fight. And then I'm like trying to break it up. And then I get cussed out out because why'd you bring him here? Why'd you bring him? I'm like, he picked me up. I didn't bring him here. He was coming already because y'all are friends with him still. And then... They found out that she cheated on him with him and she did, 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 did back and forth. So then they had a big intervention. So then my bestie was like, how could you do this to me? I'm like, I didn't do anything. I'm still dealing with my swollen eye that I can barely see out of. Worrying about your dad showing up, trying to make me call the police on you. How you won't get mad at me? And then she like, F this and blah, 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 blah. And then she walks out. She leaves. She goes to work because she was working at um, SeaWorld at this time. So she goes to work. Her dad shows up like about midnight that night. Where's Simone at? I'm like, Simone's at work. Oh, you need it. I'm like, nah, I'm good. So then I guess my mom must have talked to my dad or whatever. And my dad was like, I'm coming. He called me because I like was on a little Metro phone. He's like, I'm coming to get you. Be ready to go. I'll be there at nine o'clock because, you know, he got off work late. So like he comes, he gets me. I take my little basket I go, get back in the car. We don't talk the whole way home. We get home. The back room is yours. The refrigerator is stocked with food. Good night. He went to his bed. And I was just like, wow. So I come from a situation where it was not good to a home where no one talks to me. And then I just go to sleep. And I'm just like, okay. So then I call my mom the next morning. I'm like, mom, no one's talking to me. She's like, well, Matthew, you have to understand that you, you hurt a lot of people and da, 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 da. And I'm just like, yeah, but like, I want to apologize. No one will talk to me. She's like, well, just give it time. Give it time. So then she came to visit. She came back. She came back from Texas because she would be gone for like six months. And then she would come back and then figure, you know, get everything organized here. And then she would leave for like another six months. And she did that for two years because the people told my grandma that she was going to be gone and like, I forget how many days and she lived for, I think she lived for two years I'm not sure but she would come back and forth back and forth back and forth and um yeah but yeah no one talked to me for a long time for a long 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 time then me and my sister made up 
um, around Christmas time of that year when we went to the beach, when we went to Clearwater and I apologize for whatever I did. And then she's like, you really hurt me, but I love you. And so we're cool. We're good. And then it was fun again. Like we would go, me and her would like, every time something new would come out at a restaurant or a fast food place, we go try it. When the new season, sea salt season, real french fries came out at Wendy's, we went and tried it together. When the new whatever sandwich came out, we were always trying stuff together. We watched Jersey Shore because I think Jersey Shore came out that time that I was gone. I don't remember. But anyways, we would watch Jersey Shore together. Um, then John came back in the picture. Then I started hanging out with John for like... Because um, this time he was in Arizona and he came back. And then we were to, we hanged out like every single day. And then she liked my sister like John. And then like we had so much fun for like... God, until 2000 and... I don't even remember how long we had fun. Until 2013, literally. We hanged out literally all the time. All the time. We would go spin we would go swimming. We'd go fishing. We'd go out to eat. We loved CC's, CC's Pizza Buffet. That was our place. They knew us there. Like we would walk in the door and the guy would be like, There's my favorite people. The manager loved us at CC's. And one time I was singing the song and I was doing really good and I was having fun. And I was like dancing and whatever and having fun. Literally, the person next to us, the family next to us, started clapping when I started stop singing. I was so embarrassed. I was like, oh, my God, they heard me. And they were, the guy and the dad, the dad and his daughters were like, good job. You're a good singer. And I was like, thank you. And then we went to the store, and they saw me in the store. I was like, oh, my God, I'm embarrassed. But they were just like, no, you were so funny. Like, you were there. You were hitting all the notes. You were having fun. And we love to see people having fun. And they're like, Oh my God, you should be like, it was, it was so funny, but it was cool. It was cool. And then they closed that location. I was so mad. And now there's only one on Cimarron that's by the airport. And then there's one on International too. So, but I can't eat pizza no more. So it don't even matter. But my life was good all the way up until 2011. And then after that, it was like, it went downhill for a while. But now it's all good again in 2019. So, I mean, I'm 100 pounds lighter. I'm almost going to get surgery. We just need this last clearance. This guy needs to put the paperwork in and get me this clearance. Like, I want it so bad. But it's up to him if he's going to if he's gonna submit it. If he doesn't submit it, then I don't, I don't know what to tell you. Because I've done everything that they've asked me to do. They've actually said that I've done more than what most people who are about to surgery do. And I'm just like... Please, please, God, please. We've come this far. Why let this hold me up? Like, literally, why? Um, and then I have my appointment on Monday, and that's it. After I get that, after she gets that clearance on Monday, she said, and then she gets the clearance from the doctor, she's going to submit all of it to the insurance and then schedule surgery. So surgery could happen, like, the first or second week in October. Or it could happen the end of this month because we still have time in the end of this month. So... Guys, keep your fingers crossed. Pray for me. Pray for me. Pray for me that everything goes good. Because you guys know that I've... If you guys have been here from day one, you guys know that I've worked really hard at this. It's now... It's now 60 days. This Today will be 61 days today that I've been on this diet. Okay? And I've lost 100 pounds. So... It's just like I'm... I'm shocked and I'm excited because I never, if you would have told me this last year, there's no way. If you would have told me earlier this year that you were going to lose 100 pounds and be about to do a diet or about to have a surgery, I would say, get out of here. Stop playing. Because at that time, I love my hamburgers, my french fries, and my soda, and my candy. Not that much candy, but you know. <sighs> it's just hard. And then people tell, and then I was reading the comments yesterday about my video, me saying that I'm lonely and stuff. I would never go back to my ex-girlfriend. There's no way in heck I would go back to her because she would just pull me right back down. I'm looking for someone new, and I know when God is ready, God will bring me somebody because that happened to my sister, and so my sister and my brother. So I know it will happen to me soon, and I'm fine with that. I'll just wait. I was just telling you guys how I felt at that time. You know, I do miss having a girlfriend to call. I do miss going out on dates. I understand that, but it will come when the time is right. So, but yeah, guys, I'm just excited. Oh, I'm so excited for see what Sam and Kobe have figured out when they were in London. Oh my God, I can't wait for their videos to come out soon. It'll be so cool. I would love to do a video with them one day. So that's hopefully one day. Um, but anyways, guys, love you so much and have an awesome Friday. And I will see you maybe later with another video from me and Jama. All right. Peace.
Make sure to get the coldest water bottle ever. Use my code WaterBreak. Turn on my notification bell so you know every time I post. And tell 10 people about my channel. And I love you guys so much. Peace.